My name is Paula Christie. I'm the Assistant Director of the North and South Rivers Watershed Association. And today, July 24th, is the 20th annual Great River Race. This year we had 94 uh, boats participate in the race and it um, looks like everybody's having a great time. did have uh, a bit of a medical emergency and uh, I think the fellow's doing just fine. Apparently he's an excellent, excellent uh, kayaker. However, his water bottle broke in the middle of the race and he got extremely dehydrated. To the finish line, 69 years old, very competitive paddler, but then that's what happens when you get dehydrated, so you got to keep drinking your water when you're out there. He was determined to win, and the, his friend who he was uh, paddling with says he would have won had this not happened. He, he complained about heat stroke. Uh, and a couple of boat, uh, a couple of the uh, kayakers said uh, we need help over here. That's when we decided to call 911. Is this the finish line here? Yes. So he made right. it to the finish line, and then he kind of right. collapsed. Yeah, he didn't collapse. He, uh, but he started. Uh, from what they're telling me, his blood pressure is fairly low, and he was complaining he couldn't see for a while. Uh, he, we got him out of the kayak and actually had him dunk himself. He was still mobile. And uh, uh, to get cool, and it seemed to revive him quite a bit. But the para the uh, paramedics or EMTs want to take him to the hospital. You're talking to a non-medical person, but we decided to put water on him, keep him, uh, uh, try to get him to drink some water. We had some Gatorade. I uh, had him try to drink that, and uh, finally he said he wants to get out of the boat. It was a good thing to do, uh, I figured, because that way he could submerge himself into the cool water. And apparently the uh, EMT said that was not a bad idea. And then he, he started to act a little bit better as he got yes, cooler? Very, he, yes. He, he, actually could, he actually could start seeing. And tough old guy as he is, he doesn't need to go to the hospital. Well, they're going to take him there anyway. Not only is it a great community event, but it raises awareness of the rivers and the organization. So this is one of the things that our organization does on the fun side, in addition to the, all the adv advocacy work we do. We have, uh, we have a couple that comes up from North Carolina every year. They plan their vacation about, uh, around it. Uh, I believe we have somebody in the race from Georgia whose parents have a house up in Humrock. The people who, uh, the man who had the heat stroke came from someplace west of Boston. Bedford, I think. So not only do we have the local people of the South Shore, we have people coming from Braintree and Weymouth and, and you know, western part of the state, down south. And how's the temperature, the weather today? Uh, it's humid. It's mm -hmm. humid. Every year it's uh, humid. Uh, <laughs> it's hot and it's humid, but the people on the water seem to keep cool by splashing themselves and we, you know, provide people with, you know, lots of backup water. 